We are in uh, southwest Minnesota today, August 30th, 2013, and we're out in a, one of the farms that we manage looking at the corn crop this year. And uh, this part of the state has benefited from some favorable weather conditions this summer. And as you can see, uh, the crop has a very dark green color to it. Uh, the ears of the corn are uh, pollinated. And some of the things that we look for when we come out into the field is just to take a look at um, how well the, each of the ears is pollinated. And, and you can see an ear like this, how the kernels are all the way to the tip of the ear, which uh, is a good sign. Um, you can see this ear that I'm moving towards now. While uh, pollinated pretty well, you can see a little bit of the tip there that um, had pollinated, but weather conditions did not allow uh, the plant to uptake enough uh, nutrients uh, to fill out. But then again, the ear next to it looks um, fairly well filled out. The other thing we look at as well is we'll take an ear and, and, and split it apart and take a look at the kernel depth. Um, this will translate into uh, how many pounds of, of uh, corn per bushel and you can see here that this is kind of a, a real good um, ear of corn. It's got good depth to it and um, there's uh, 16 kernels around this ear and the, the length of this ear was around 36 to 38 kernels. So um, translated into bushels, if all of this um, this whole field looked like this we'd be looking at uh, 200 bushel plus corn out here and uh, right now um, even though you can see some of the corn has dented uh, it's still a ways off from being physically mature in fact it probably needs another six weeks of uh, good uh, weather to uh, get this crop beyond any point of being damaged by an early frost and that's what many of the folks up here are mostly concerned about but uh, this farm is is doing really well, has had a great summer, picked up some timely rains, and that's really the difference we've noticed as we traveled um, with the good corn from the not so good. It's just the, the weather conditions and um, the soil that the, the crop is being grown on. So a favorable looking crop here, and we will see come harvest how well this crop does.